Hey guys, um, I'm Bass 2 Swank Ivy, and I'll be performing the lowest vocal line in this six-part harmony song for you today. Um, I just thought I should warn you that, um, well, obviously you've noticed that I'm not a guy, so um, singing parts written for men is going to be kind of rough on me. Um, I hope you can bear with me. Uh, actually, last time I checked, you don't always have the lowest part. Hey, I'm Bass 1 Swank Ivy. Uh, well, most a cappella songs in this kind of style kind of cross voices at least once in a while. Um, but I'm usually on the bottom. Okay, well, I'm just saying that I got it as rough as you do, so quit complaining. Well, for me, these low notes, getting these out is more important, because I'm pretty much always on the root of the chord, and that's what the whole piece is built on. Dude, the other parts of the chord are just as important. <laughs> yeah, right. You would say that, since when the baritones get lost in the middle, nobody really notices. Um, excuse me? I think you're overlooking the most essential men's part. Hi, I'm tenor swank Ivy. Are you kidding? Tenor is more essential than bass? I've always thought so. Why do you think the good guys in musicals are almost always tenors? At least our parts are more than doom doom doom. Uh, I think you mean doom 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 doom. <sighs> Sound familiar? I just think there's more soul in the tenor part. It's dynamic. Tenor parts almost always have the most life in them. Life, as in <laughs> dudes trying to hit notes that are clearly meant for girls. In my opinion, it takes real stamina to get the guts to try those notes. A real man isn't afraid of the upper range. Um, not that I would personally know, since I'm actually a girl trying to sing tenor. Oh, and uh, that's different from the usual setup, how? <laughs> Shut up! Tenors are important! Oh, look out! The girly man's gonna cry! B-O-O-H-O-O. -O -O. Yeah, pardon me, but this is a stupid conversation, because we're all just as important as each other. Hi, I'm Alto Swank Ivy. Oh ho! Well, wait a second. The alto is saying all parts are created equal. What's your problem? Well, you only have, like, the least interesting part in existence. When do you ever have the melody? Melody is not the end-all be-all of music. But there are a couple places where I get a brief melody in this song. Like where? Like measure 19. That's not a melody. That's like a slightly emphatic line. <sighs> Shut up. There's no lead for a few measures, and the soprano that's on top of me is doing a descant. It's a melody, and that's final. For the record, um, I never have the melody in this thing. Me neither. So, the alto thinks she has bragging rights, because she has something like a melody for four measures. Hey, it's more like twelve measures, and I'm still doing it even after the lead comes in. But I don't care, melody isn't everything. At least altos can freaking sight read. Aw, oh, sounds like somebody's bitter. You altos always pull out the I'm a better musician than you shtick to make up for the fact that you have the most limited vocal range ever. I'll have you know that most altos could sing soprano or tenor if they wanted to. But since we aren't always handed the melody on a silver platter, we actually have to learn to read music. Imagine that. You think tenors never have a complicated part? Yeah, and what a lot of bassists sing is counterintuitive. Aren't you guys the ones who spend the whole time going doom doom doom? Don't insult the bass line. The root of the chord owns your soul. Uh, I think you all need to calm down. Let's not get psychotic before we have to sing together. Hey there, I'm Soprano 2 Swank Ivy. And speaking of melody, yeah, about that. Sopranos seriously do not always have the melody, especially if you end up singing second like me. Isn't second soprano pretty much the part that can't sing high enough for first soprano, but can't read music well enough to be an alto? If that's true, I guess baritones are just guys who can't sing low enough for bass and can't sing high enough for tenor. Point taken. Yeah, and let's do something about that misconception that sopranos can't read music. Singing second soprano means you get it from both sides. You get that soprano stigma where people assume you're lost if you don't have the melody, but then you never get pretty descants or spotlight pieces like the first sopranos do, or sometimes the tenors. Hey, I'm not complaining. Yeah, you are. I'm completely happy with my role in life. Oh, watch out, the tenor's gonna cry again. Hey everybody, I'm here. Sorry I'm late. Aw, oh, you're not late, unless you miss your entrance on the rare occasion that you have to read music. What's that supposed to mean? Never mind, just introduce yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm Soprano One Swank Lady, also known as the lead. the lead. See, they all know me, <laughs> probably because I'm the star or because we're all the same person. Well, this is getting kind of absurd. And long. 
yeah, so maybe we better go ahead and start the song before people get bored of us and turn us off. Okay, see you guys in three, two, one. Wait, I'm not ready. I just got here. So much for being the lead. Do I have to do everything? Actually, I think I'm the one who starts us off. You think? We're supposed to have learned this song already. Great. Let's argue about which one of you leads in with the Doom Dooms, since ultimately that really matters. <sighs> okay, shut up. Uh, bottom line, we're about to break into six-part harmony to perform the song Butterfly by Riotone, a Finnish a cappella group. You'll have to excuse us not having professional equipment and, you know, having some of the men's parts raised an octave due to not having any guys, so we hope it's entertaining and enjoying um, for you to watch. Shouldn't I have done the intro, since I'm the lead and all? Looks to me like you were a little too busy doing your hair. How about we all just shut up and sing? Oh my God. Yay. 
on the leaves. Oh, if I say goodbye, if I say goodbye.